All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to play chess online with your friends using Microsoft Excel. So the setup is going to evolve to create a chess board, work, bring in the pieces, and then share the file with your friends um, and give them in one note or one drive, share file in one drive and the key is you're going to have to give them editing permissions all right so um here we here we go so let's go ahead and the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to set up a 64 square chess board now um, you can select kind of where you want to go here so i'm just going to go across to four six eight okay so there's my settings right there and then i'm going to go down eight rows two four, six eight ten. actually i had to go down uh yeah i was counting by twos okay i think i got it here so just maybe do a border all right now you'll want to select all the columns and as you stretch one column out kind of pick a, a pixel so i'm going to go with the uh, 135 pixels carefully let go there and then i'm going to come over here and select these guys here and if i change one column they all will follow a suit Oh, got it. Okay. Whew. All right. Um, so now that we have that, we want to color the pieces. And so I'm going to select uh, black and then just use the format painter, double click the format painter. And that allows us to uh, select every other one. All right, turn off the format painter. Let's see what we got here. I think I overdid it. <laughs> I overdid it, right? I went too far. That's the first part. Yeah, I don't need that last row here. So I'm just gonna delete this row here. Now, that, that looks good. That looks good. I think that's, that's the right way of doing it. Okay. So we've got our chessboard. Now, mind you, in the lower right-hand corner, you'll be able to zoom in and zoom out. So you're going to need to kind of get comfortable with that. All right, so that's, that's step one. Set up your board. If you'd like to, you can go to view and turn off the grid lines. That's kind of nice to, to take that out there. All right, now what we want to do is we want to... Um, Add the chess pieces on the insert tab. If you're using Microsoft 365, uh, you're going to have uh, icons. And you just type chess. All right, so we've got some pawns. We're going to bring in these guys. Insert. Okay, so what I need to do actually is um, that's okay for the for these pieces here, but when you see, you know, what's going to happen is we got to change the background color on that. So I'm going to quickly select these guys here using the control key.
This is the long way of doing it, but let's just do that real quick here. Yeah, that's going to be nice right there. Okay. All right. So now um, let's begin by placing the pawns in here. And the trick is hold down control and drag it over to the side and let go. And then press F4 to copy it. All right. Now I can select all these guys by selecting. Those, all, all of them, and then go to the Graphics Format tab and select a line. We could do a line top, and then we could do a line distribute horizontally. And then I think I got it. Now it's just a matter of just moving them to pieces here. Okay, similarly, uh, we'll take our white pawn. And then press F4, 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 F4 to copy those out, just like that. All right, now the the knight and the rook, it, con it came in together. So we're going to create a copy of these. And we'll use the, the crop button. Let me zoom in here. See where I'm going with this? Crop out. Perfect. Okay, same thing here. Crop. Once we get one, I'll, we'll have we'll have the ability to get the others here. Crop. All right, so zoom back out. You can get these guys here. Using control to copy. You can copy paste, control C, control V as well. Actually, it's here. I, I can't think straight here. It is here. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, bishop, knight, king. So let's go to insert, icon sets. If I search king. Yep, so boom, boom. Boom, boom. Insert those four there. All right. So um, it would be it would be cool to put a cross on the top for the king. That there is a way to do that, and so. Um, Assuming these are the queens, queen goes on her own color. Uh, here. Here. Yeah, so if I have a graphic I want to combine and maybe put a little cross be behind the scenes here, I would, I would need to create a, another sh icon. Just say cross. Let's see what we can find here. Mm. Not seeing anything particularly helpful there, but um, maybe just that guy just to show you. And we would resize it. There. Yeah, something like that. Hold on, control. 
There we go. Uh, so the key would be to group these. So we would need to hold down. It's like both of those to be able to group. And now it's one. So now I've got my king here. This might be easier when we're playing chess because the queen and the king kind of look similar there. But OK, I like that. Last but not least, we need our bishop. So insert icons. There's not one that I know of. So if we just type like diamond, these could be our. bishops. Okay. Now, the next part of the solution is to let your friend play, you've got to get a link from Microsoft and share it with them. And um, it will help if they have a Microsoft 365 account. However, if they, are, if they don't, they, you can make a, a link accessible through OneDrive. And um, it's just a matter of, of managing it. So let me go ahead and pause the video and get a position where I can show you how to do that there. All right, I've saved the Chess in Excel workbook. You can see just now. I'm in Microsoft OneDrive and I created a folder called Chess in Excel. So what I need to do now is select this circle here, which will allow me to click share. Okay, so currently it says anyone with this link can edit or I can type in a friend's email address right here and they would get the ability to open it up on their end to do that. So um, normally um, you, you have the ability to do anyone with this link, you could check off allow editing. Well, that would defeat the purpose of that because then you couldn't have your friend move their pieces, only you could. So you've got to make sure that it's, that it's set for allow editing. Uh, there is a password that you can place in, pl so that um, folks would need to have a password to open it up. And you can also set an expiration link so it could expire after a certain time here. So if we just said anyone with this link and hit apply, and I click copy link, that's what I would do there to share it with somebody. But better if you have their email address so that way they get an email saying that you've been invited to edit Chess in Excel uh, workbook there. But then once they open it up, then you can go to town and play. And as soon as they move a piece, you'll see it on your end. And then you can just keep playing and have fun with that. All right. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Steve Chase here. And for more videos and tutorials, check out my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.